Greetings YouTubers. I uh, was approached by several people to do a tutorial on cloning and masking in Sony Vegas Pro, but due to some issues I've been having with my webcam recording things and then putting the audio out of sequence, I uh, decided to just narrate a certain portion of the video rather than actually have the audio go on. So, that being said, let's get started. Alright, here I'm basically just giving a demonstration on the idea of masking. We have two images. They're almost the same, but they're flipped, so it looks like they're looking at each other. We put them together uh, on separate layers, like sandwiched together on layers, and one is visible, but the other is not. The idea behind masking is that we, in essence, cut a certain por portion of that top layer away, and we see what's behind it, giving the illusion that there are, the images are actually cloned, but they're actually two separate images, but being that their one part is cut away, allowing the, the underside to show, it's giving the illusion of two rather than one. One thing you do want to be careful of is when you're masking, the line that you create as the mask you want to make sure that it doesn't overlap with anything, as I just demonstrated in the video. Now, this is the portion of the video where I actually record the two sections of the clones, the one on the left and the one on the right. <laughs> footage, we're going to pull it into Sony Vegas and work our masking magic. Alright, here we are in Sony Vegas. Um, I had a little issue with my sound not syncing up with my video, so I had to bring in a separate audio track, which I'm going to have to manipulate manually, and I'm going to actually have to pause the, the uh, recording so I can fix it up a little bit. But uh, to start, I've taken the segment just of the, the two halves that I... I created. First we have the me on the left, we're going to have the me on the right come in shortly, but what we're going to do is we're going to go to the point just before I get up, right here, with that first video clip selected. Now your video and audio are going to be complete, so when you snip it, it's going to snip both of them, but I'm going to have to do both of them manually since I don't have the same since I, I don't have the same audio and video track. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit the S key to snip or uh, separate or slice or splice, however you want to say it. It doesn't matter. It's all the same thing. But that actually splits the video into two segments. Like I said, if, if you're running with a regular audio video track imported in, it's going to snip both the audio and the video. But I have to do this manually for both just going to snap to the same point and cut it. Now there's going to be some unwanted section in the middle where I get up to walk to the second area. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to snip that as well. And I am going to delete that portion. Now here's the part where I need to synchronize my audio. So I'm going to go ahead and stop the capture right here and I'll continue it in just a moment. Alright, we're back. I have my audio and my video synchronized on my second half, so we're all good. Now, one thing to keep in mind again is that my audio and video tracks are separate, so I'm going to have to select them both individually to move them, but when you move your audio, your video track, your audio should go with it. This is when things get a little tricky. Just a little bit, not a lot. Now, either way we move these, we can make it work whether we move the first set down or the so that they're below or we move the second set down so they're below we're going to move the second set just for the hell of it and we're just going to put it right there for now now what we have is the top layer which is showing 
and the bottom layer, which is below, which is not showing. Just like the two pieces of paper I showed you with the pictures of Stewie. Now, I'm just going to zoom in on the timeline a little bit here so you can see there's a big gap of space before this video starts. That is going to be an issue you want to look into when you're putting, when you're deciding which video should go on top of which. Now, you don't see anything right now, but keep in mind that when you crop your videos, when you mask your videos, you're going to have to mask the one that's on top so that the one on the bottom can show through. So, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to mask this top layer and you'll be able to see the little issue we're going to run into with this gap of time. Now, we go to the event pan slash crop tool. It's a little square looking thing with these 90 degree bracket looking things on the top left and bottom right. We're going to go ahead and click on that. We're going to open a window. Your window is probably going to be bigger than this, but I resized it when I was messing around with it. If you need to zoom in or zoom out, you can scroll your mouse wheel. Now, normally there's a big F here and uh, circles and little grips and everything like that, but I was playing with this before and uh, all that stuff is, is turned off. So what we need to do is we need to go down here to position on the bottom left and there's a little checkbox that says mask. We want to click on that. We want to make sure our anchor creation tool is selected. And we want to create a mask around the area that we want to keep. Not the area that we're getting rid of, but the area we want to keep. It doesn't have to be perfect. And you'll notice right away in our little preview window right up at the top here, it cuts the video and we don't actually have anything there. That's the reason why this little gap of time is important. Now you'll notice if I scrub forward a little bit and we watch that preview window, there we go. Now the rest of the video comes in and here comes a second clone. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to delete this mask. And we're going to swap these. We're just going to swap these tracks. We're going to take these tracks and we're going to put them on top of the other tracks rather than having this one on top. Since that little gap of time that a video, so that video will appear from the start. Now what we have to do is crop the overlaying video. So we're going to hit the event pan and crop again. There's that big F with the circles and the little grip tools here. Now we're going to go down here to mask. Make sure our anchor selection is available. And we're going to now mask the area that we do want to show. You may need to scrub back and forth a couple times to get this right, depending on how your, your positioning is on your two characters. So we're going to scrub forward a little. Oh, no, I messed up. I chose the wrong side of the video. Now that's all right, because all we need to do in that case is either delete it and start over, or you can simply go to Mode and say Negative, and it'll simply flip it. It'll flip your selection. Now we're going to scrub forward, and here comes the second guy. We want to make sure nobody's cut off, and it seems to be everybody is fine. Everything looks good. So now what we really, just all we need to do is just line these two up, make sure they're synchronized correctly, and we're all set. I'm going to end this portion of the tutorial. I'm going to go ahead and make sure this video is synchronized, and I'm going to render it. And um, once that's done, I'm going to tack it onto the end of the tutorial so you can see the finished product. And uh, that's it. I hope this is helpful to everyone, and uh, I look forward to seeing your creations. So uh, feel free to post them as a video response to this. Uh, I'd like to see anything you guys come up with. And uh, just be creative. Enjoy it. Hey, what are you playing? Yeah, Call of Duty 4. Really? Is it any good? It's not bad. Is it better than Halo? Much better. Really? Yeah.